Okay. Yeah, I need to put the lid back on before that. Whenever I get one, please remember to one. Okay. 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 So we're looking at number 21 on review sheet 2. Wow. Okay, so what formula? TV. TV. Copy it down. Okay, so there's the formula. Now, what am I going to put in where here? I gave up on it, actually. Your credit card balance is one, two, three, four. So, so R is PV is one, two, three, four. PV is one, two, three, four. R is what I'm looking for. Uh, that's that's the payment there. amount. That's what I'm looking for. So one minus one plus. What do I put in for I? Point one eight four nine. 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 And what power am I raising it to? Negative <laughs> Hey, <coughs> table two, Amani. <coughs> Come on, you're to be the like example. They don't want wow. to wow. have wow. 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 All right, so what's the issue? Uh, I did not know how to get rid of the negative 48 power. Get your calculator out. Oh type exactly Let's what I tell it. you to type. Okay, you ready? You're going to type exactly what I tell you to type. Ready? Yep. Okay. Start right here. So I'm going to type 1 minus parentheses 1 plus 0.1849 divided by 12, close the parentheses, raised to negative 48 equals. There. <laughs> type exactly what I told you to type. 0.51. Yep. Then hit divided by parentheses 0.1849 divided by 12. And then we're going to take, that's all of this now. So I'll take 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by that answer. And it's $36.57. Did you get point one six five three nine for the numerator? I have no idea. Yeah, it was like 31. All right. If you type exactly what I told you, if you typed 1 minus parentheses, 1 plus this, close parentheses, raised to negative 48 equals, divided by parentheses, like one yes. from what you typed into. Oh, I realized I was... And then do 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by that answer. That should give you this number. If it doesn't, I'll have to look at it individually with you. Okay. Okay, who else had a question about one of our homework problems? Anything in our homework that we have a question about? Review one, review two, or practice test? Um, can we do review two, number 11? Review two, number 11. So I am on review two. I'm looking at number 11. What formula, Kelsey? Um, the A equals P1 plus R over N on yeah. All right, what did you put where? I put 987 equals um, like 321 plus R over 4. And then I put R4. Is that why you guys are in? Well, I don't think that's right. It's not. What's the exponent? Formulas NT. Yeah. Okay, what's the first step to solving that? Now we got all the numbers in the right yeah, spot. Kelsey, uh, what's the first step to solving that? Uh, divide by three twenty one. 
Now, class, am I going to need logarithms to solve this equation? Absolutely not. This, if this were the variable, I'd need logarithms, but I don't. I do need to get rid of that, though. So I'm going to take the 44th root of both sides. So 1 plus r over 4 will equal 987 over 321 raised to the 1 over 44th power. That's how I type it in on my calculator, making sure that when I raise it to this fractional power, I put it in parentheses. Then once I get that number figured out, what will I need to do? Subtract 1 and then multiply by 4. And that should be here. You've got to be minus 1 first. If it had been a negative 44th power, would you have just done 1 over the negative 44th? Well, 1 over. Oh, no, 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 no. No. If this, that, first of all, that's never going to be negative. Because okay. that's never going to come out negative in this formula. That will never be negative. The negative was just nothing. It's going to be chaotic. You don't do anything except type it in. All right, anything else from review one, review two, or practice test one? The packet, in other words. Zena has a question. Uh, 3A on going review. Did you do it? Yes. Okay, now I'm looking at review one. I mean, things happen. Problem 3A on review one is a logarithmic equation. When we solve logarithmic equations, what's the first thing we have to make sure of? No more than one logarithm on either side. So these two are going to have to be put together since that's a plus. They'll go together as a multiplication. Now what? 4 to the second equals 5x minus 10, and then we solve it from there. Don't forget, though, I'm going to go ahead and do this with the book slide. No, it'll be okay. We have to be careful because sometimes we get extraneous roots, right? So, for example, if I were to solve this, and gotten something like one and a half as my answer, I would have thrown it out because if I put one and a half in here, it makes that negative. That can't be negative. So you want to check it and make sure it comes out positive. Would you ever have to give us like two different logs, like logs going on? Maybe a bonus addition, but not on Okay, now, I'm going to come around, I want those papers to put aside, I'm coming around now to check. You are not to be working on review one, review two, or practice test one right now, you're to be working on practice test two.